There is an answer to all this. The gospel of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. There's a lot of bad things out there. A lot of things which are making you feel depressed and sad about the future. But there's some very good thing, or very good person who's out there, who's the Lord, and he's given us the message of the gospel. Jesus said that this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. And today we see that there are people who believe in Jesus all over the world, some in conditions of persecution, some in very difficult places, but still believing in Jesus. And it's a remarkable testament to the truth of the gospel that people of all races, all backgrounds, can come to faith in Jesus and receive new life in him. Paul said, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. It's the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also for the Greek. In it, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as is written, the just shall live by faith. You have faith in Jesus Christ, you are saved for eternity. You are delivered from the wrath of God which is coming on the world because of its sin. And you have a glorious future and a glorious hope. And Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, saying the time is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the gospel. What's God saying to us today? Repent and believe the gospel. That's what you have to do. It's not Rocket science, you don't have to have a degree to work out what that means. You have to change from unbelief, from going away from God, turn around and go to God. Change your mind about Jesus Christ, believe in him, accept him as your saviour, and walk in his ways. And there's the power of God to save everybody who believes, no matter what background you come from. No matter what you've done, even if you've committed some of the worst sins, if you believe in Jesus, you can be forgiven through faith in him. The whole problems, all the problems I've just talked about tonight are caused by human sin and unbelief and rejection of God's word. They can all be solved if people repent and turn to God. We know that not everyone's going to do that, but a minority of people will do that and they'll be saved and they have a future in Jesus Christ. And Jesus is going to come back. He's going to come back, as I said, with power and glory. And he's going to come back and judge the world in righteousness. And he is the unique saviour who died for our sins. And his message has been spread to the ends of the earth. Despite apostasy, despite persecution, there are people all over the world who believe in Jesus. I hope you're all believers in Jesus. I guess you're here because you are. If you're not, and if you're listening to this online and you don't believe in Jesus, now is the day of salvation. Now is the day to put your trust in Jesus Christ because he is a good Lord. He's the Savior. He loves you. He died for you. He rose from the dead. And he's coming back again in power and glory to judge the world in righteousness. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. Amen. Amen. Let's just have a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you that we do have a hope in Jesus. Thank you that you come to us to redeem us. Thank you that you're coming back in power and glory. And Lord, as we see all the negative things happening in the world today, we can know that there are only signs of a temporary situation which will be changed in a moment when Jesus returns. And we thank you, Lord, that when you return, you're going to come with tremendous power to take your people to yourself, to judge the world in righteousness, and to bring peace and justice to this world. So help us, Lord, to believe in you. Help us, Lord, to follow you. And help us, Lord, to use the time that remains to spread the gospel. We pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ.